TLC stands for thermal lensing compensation. So with the multi-kilowatt fiber lasers, for example, a normal high-quality fused silica lens will undergo thermal lensing, which is a result of the temperature coefficient of refractive index, uh, which all optical glasses have. And so as this lens heats up, its focus shifts. So if you're welding something at high powers, you start focuses at point A, after some minutes, it's now at B, and you've lost your weld. So what we've done is taking the fact that some optics have negative DNDTs and some optics have positive, by getting the right balance of optical glass, you can mitigate the thermal lensing that occurs in the system so that the net is there's no focus shift in the optics. So for example, this is showing the DNDT for fused silica and calcium fluoride. They're nearly equally matched, but opposite signs, which is what makes it possible through a few optical design tricks, we can make the two elements work together so that whether it's at ambient room temperature or some elevated temperature, they're still focusing at the same point, uh, just because of the different natures of the glass. The athermalization of optics is something that's been done for decades, mostly in the far infrared, because a lot of those materials are very sensitive to thermal changes but it's never been applied to lasers directly. So it's the first time it's ever been applied to a high power laser, because you don't think of it uh, using it for a laser, but over a broad spectrum. So, but because of this unique uh, occurrence with high power fiber lasers, you know, it's a serious problem. So the only other solution is like using a reflective optic where you don't have thermal lensing, but they're more awkward to, to work with and you can't use a vision system with that. So with here, it's an all refractive approach and you're not bounded at all. This is a, a non-TLC optical system. This is a TLC optical system. In both cases at you know, T0, they're both in focus. But here with the typical uh, non-TLC optics, you see the focus come closer to the uh, focusing lens. So it's out of focus now. But here with the TLC, it stays in focus, regardless of temperature change. We've installed it in some industrial systems for welding, some aerospace applications. These are all multi-kilowatt type applications, up to 20 kilowatts. We've used this optic design with very, very good results. We've had good feedback from customers with this. Because in, say, one, one application, a 20 kilowatt application, they could not set up their system without constantly going back and aligning it which is really, you know, it's very expensive, time consuming, but with our optics, it was aligned at low power and never touched again, which is an ideal situation.